Hey guys, welcome back. I'm pretty excited because this is the uh, first time I have had a Scorpion 6 on the channel. It's not the first time I've handled one. Uh, I had a, previously I had a Mechtag version 1 prototype with a Damascus blade and a sawtooth back on the Damascus blade and it was full dress, it, it, oh, it was beautiful. But I traded slash sold that before I started YouTube, so I can't share that one now. Um, you know, it sounded like a good idea at the time, but you know, once they're gone, they're gone, right? We can't go back in time. So. My buddy Langdon was very, very gracious uh, to loan me actually three different Scorpion 6s. Um, so I have two others to do videos on, and you got a glimpse of them in my last unboxing of uh, yesterday or Saturday, um, you know, a day or two ago, where, uh, yeah, it more than filled the table. I barely had enough room to put everything that he loaned me. It was quite... Uh, an impressive haul, we'll just put it that way. So this VEPS is one of the Scorpion 6s that uh, he loaned in. This one came into fruition in September of 2019. So it's kind of cool. You get a, a nice box. You get a you know business card that has the information written about the specific knife. Um, it's kind of a magnetic... Uh, closed box and then it's got your warranty stuff and all of that which I did not open and uh, it will just touch on the warranty right now it is Greg Medford ish no taking it apart it has uh, proprietary hardware if you take it apart you void the warranty um, modify it you void the warranty yada yada not my favorite but those of you that don't know uh, Shane worked with Medford Knife and Tool prior to leaving and going to uh, start his own shop, him and his wife. And I've met them at the sh at uh, California Custom Shop, uh, California Custom Knife Show last year, I think it was. Hung out at the booth, chatted for a little bit. Um, again, pre-YouTube endeavors. So um, I was a nobody, just a guy they chatted with for a few minutes so anyway let's dive into the knife i'm kind of going off on a tangent i apologize so this is the veps and you have a closed length from the tip to the tip of four and three eighths inches it fires pretty good not a super rocket but solid every time overall length is just over seven and an eighth inch the blade length, again, from the edge of the scale to the very tip of that dagger blade, is 2.678 inches, with an edge length of 2.532. The blade thickness is 0.195, so it's pretty stout. Uh, the blade steel is CTS XHP in this very nice dagger grind, although it is not sharpened on the back edge, that is just a false edge. Uh, weighs in at 4.5 ounces. Overall thickness of 5.35. It's a little thick, uh, and it runs on ceramic bearings, although it's a pretty tight pivot. It's very smooth, but it's not, I, yeah, you can't shake it shut. So it's pretty tight pivot. It looks like this particular one I, I don't know, the pivot might be a little stripped. I, I don't know if somebody tightened this on purpose. I don't know if um, my buddy got this brand new or not. I think he got these on the secondary market. But um, it is on bearings, it is super smooth, it's just very tight. It feels pretty good in the hand. It is a little small for me and my hands, but I can get a full grip no real hot spots, maybe a little bit from the clip. It is a very short clip, but it it seems to work in the pocket fairly well. 
Um, haven't had a lot of time to carry this one, but it it does fit in the hand. You have a really nice choil up here, so you can choke up on it and really kind of get in. Um, I want to zoom in on the blade because the blade grinds are really nice. And we'll see if this will focus up well or not. But it's a really nice uh, belt finished, it looks like, grind. And very crisp edge between the sharpened edge and that false swedge edge. I mean, it's super clean. And similar on the back side, it's just a really crisp and clean line right down the center of the blade. I mean, that's not the easiest thing to do by hand in your shop. So these are complete customs. He makes them one by one. You can actually feel a little bit of texturing from the uh, belt satin finish. But these are all made one by one by hand. The other thing I really appreciate is he's got his logo there up on the blade and that's the only external markings. He doesn't have made in the USA. He doesn't have uh, his name on the front and on the back and serial numbers and a bunch of stuff. It's a very clean and sterile looking knife other than, you know, the milling and the titanium. He does have this, you know, seven pin hardware, he calls it. Um, but then down on the inside, let's see if I can show that. Inside of the backspacer, it is signed. You know, he does sign that inside, which is cool. It keeps the rest of it clean. And I appreciate the cleanness on there. There's a good shot of it. I appreciate the clean on the outside. You know, I don't need a bunch of manufacturer's logos all over the clip and all over everything because, well, I know what it is, and I'm not sure that you need to do your marketing while it's in my pocket, necessarily, if that makes sense. Um, so, I don't know. I do, uh, I like the backspacer. It's kind of designed uh, like the uh, stinger on a wasp, and it has some texturing up on top for reverse grip to kind of lock it in a little bit better there. So, I don't know, it's a very cool little knife. Again, a little smaller than I typically like for my hands. So we'll start off with a size comparison of the Spyderco Delica and my Sharpie that I always forget lately. I don't know why. Maybe the Sharpie doesn't matter. I just figure everybody knows what a Sharpie is. So I figured it's a good example. Um, and then just because it's here, and I Freaking still love this thing. Red Horse um, Hellraiser P Series. And as usual, how about the uh, Cursory Sabenza Large 21? So you can see that this is a small knife, but carries well, works great, feels good in the hand. Nice choil, I do appreciate that. Um, I do wish it was a little looser, and maybe that's just because somebody previously tightened up the pivot some, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and the clip is really short, but so far it works in the pocket. So, oh, get the Sharpie out of there. So anyway, there will be some more uh, Scorpion 6 to come because I have a couple more from Langdon, and uh, you know, at some point I would like to get some more. I am kind of sad that I sold and shipped that one away previously because it was kind of cool um, and it was a prototype. So I don't know what I was thinking back then. And I don't even remember exactly what I was trying to grab at that time. I think I was catching up, catching some money up for some bags. So, you know, what can I say? Got a thing for those bags, but anyway, Thanks for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget that we're giving away the MKT Praetorian Genesis T 
very soon. So make sure you watch that video. I will link to that one down in the description below. Uh, just to make sure you get one last chance to enter into that drawing. So we're going to give that away Wednesday night, the uh, 27th. So um, this video, I think, is going to come out Wednesday morning. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one.